So this is a slingshot that I made from a piece of rotting wood. So you can see here, yeah, it's a um, dried out wood that I found in the park from one of those big trees that grow there. It's quite big, it's quite thick. So it was originally a ugly stick that was all, you know, brown, rotting. So I just, you know, saw it off and then I um, shaved the bark off and then I sandpapered it. I mean, I filed it first. I filed it with a metal file, metal file, and then I sandpapered it with 280 grit. Yeah, 280 grit. So basically, I just filed it into a more refined shape. Before this, it was really ugly. Well, now it's, you know, it's still ugly, but, you know, I didn't even shave this off because, you know, I thought maybe something different because when I hold it, you know, I hold the slingshot with the right hand. So yes, when I hold it, it goes like this and this finger wraps around like this. I feel it's more stable that way. So, you know, why not just leave it there? It's quite comfortable. So after I sandpaper it, it's a lot smoother. The only thing that I skipped while making this was to add uh, an oil coating. So you can see it's still bare wood. Uh, that's unprotected but anyway it's a slingshot it works the same way so I got no phone stand but I can see this these are bike tubes you know your, your bicycles in a tube and this is a little bit a little bit too long well I'm gonna make it adjustable so it's not even complete because you see this here it's um basically I just tied this onto the slingshot which is really unprofessional, but for a lazy person like me, I'm just doing this to test it out to see if it actually works and it shoots. And this one is just tied on with masking tape, so it actually works. Well, let me try. So it is strong because this this inner tube is really tough rubber, and I've got a plenty plenty of this inner tube. So, uh, you know, and they are quite long lasting. So if one's gone, I just rip it off and I tie a new one on it. So yeah, it's quite a nice thing to play with. The only reason I made this was because, you know, the cats are becoming a nuisance in this neighborhood. I'm just planning to like take maybe tiny, tiny pebbles, fire them at the cats. Hopefully they don't come back. Because these cats, they are, they are stray cats and all they do is just screw up my life. See, they, they climb on my car, they scratch the car all over. After I've polished, they scratch it again. After I've polished the next round, they scratch it again and it's been going on for many years. Also, these cats like to come to the garden and take a dump. Almost every single day, I find a new piece of poop somewhere in the garden. And, you know, they... I have done many things. Uh, we fenced up, but you know, cats can climb over fences, so that was no use. I've even tried like taking a stick to try and hit them and make them go away, but they just keep coming back. They don't learn. So hopefully with this and some small pebbles or maybe even, you know, rubber. You know, tiny pieces of rubber that really hurt when they hit. Yeah, maybe you'll teach them a lesson after this, so... Hmm... Pretty good. I mean, it's solid wood. So, from... Rubbish wood to... A weapon. Not bad. I mean... I'm on my semester break, so I've got nothing better to do. Hmm... I... Feel a sense of accomplishment. Kinda happy with it. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so, yeah.